Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog! In today's vlog special episode, Nightmare Weekly Video Vlogs NWV, is brought to you by my bathroom. Yes, today we are vlogging outside of my bathroom, or rather inside of my bathroom, should I say. Am I taking a crap right now on my toilet, or am I not? Hmm. That is one question that will probably rattle in your guys' head for a very long time. The world may never know if I'm actually taking a shit and recording a video at the same time. However, I actually put a lot of thought into these weekly little vlogs, mainly because in my old vlogs, I kind of was in one location. Probably every single week, I'm going to vlog in a different location. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good. So next week, who knows where I might be. I might be vlogging from within inside my toilet or while I take a shower. By the way, guys, thank you so much uh, for the uh, iPad, my little Christmas present. I'm actually recording from my iPad right now. It is uh, a spectacular recording device. Yeah, the iPad Mini 4 actually records videos a hell of a lot better than the iPhone for some reason. Probably because, well, it's a lot larger and size does matter. <laughs> Holy balls. By the way, straight after I made my last weekly vlog last week, a whole bunch of you guys wrote to me asking if I could actually bring back the bung board and bring back uh, everything I used to do in my old vlogs. Well, as for the bung board, it died. Yeah, there was an accident. It kind of got chopped up a little bit. Um, no, seriously, the bung board is actually still in storage, but I don't just have it with me right now. Should I bring back the bung board? I'm not too entirely sure, because if I vlog in a new location every single week, which I think is actually pretty cool, uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be bringing back the vlog board, or rather the bung board in general. If you guys never saw a vlog of mine, the bung board is basically a whiteboard in the background that I put a whole bunch of goals on and, you know, I put links and stuff like that. Um, I can pretty much do the same thing right here and now if I choose to. Uh, not to mention, on my old vlog channel, I couldn't upload, well, at the time, back in 2010, when I actually had that channel partnered, uh, not by, like, a network like Machinima or Fullscreen, but by just, like, a YouTube partnership, I couldn't upload any RuneScape content, which is why the bung board was created, because it was kind of like a substitute. However, now I can, you know, put RuneScape content into my vlogs, which just makes them nice and juicy and awesome, because I don't have to worry about the copyright bullshit, because, you know, I'm on a network and stuff like that, so... It's a little better, you know, having that type of a partnership. So that's the reason why the Bung Board was created, you know, many, many moons ago. Whew, six years ago, going on seven years soon. Um, but otherwise, I really don't have to, you know, have that worry. Should I bring back the Bung Board? Not really sure. I'll let you guys decide. Maybe we'll do like a straw poll, you know, here and there in the future. But for now... Probably just going to vlog in a different location every single week. All right, so firstly, last week we did a 24-hour Christmas live stream. And I actually kind of really want to uh, go back and answer some questions from my previous vlog. A lot of you guys asked me why did I want to buy the iPad 4 Mini Pro when the Samsung Galaxy uh, tablet? Yeah, the Samsung Ga Galaxy tablet can do pretty much the same exact thing as an iPad, but is extremely cheaper. Well, my friends out there... I've owned an iPhone since uh, 2007. It's pretty ironic, RuneScape 2007, I bought my iPhone in 2007. <laughs> or rather, old school. It's Nobody calls it RuneScape 2007 more. It's, everyone calls RuneScape old school just RuneScape old school. It is theoretically RuneScape 2007, but now it's, you know, kind of moving past the 2007 phase. Anyways, the year 2007. I actually bought my first iPhone, the first generation ever. And to this day, 10 years later, I actually still have a fucking iPhone. Um, so therefore, I am forever enslaved into the buttholes at the Apple Corporation. Um, mainly, I have over well over 150 apps um, that I've bought and used through the iTunes store. There's just really, it's, I mean, it's just, it's not smart to go from the Apple store now to go to the Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, I guess maybe you can do some jailbreaking, but me personally, I, I've never done that and never had a need to. So that's the reason why I bought the iPad Mini 4 Pro. Um, yeah, it is actually more expensive than any other Samsung, Samsung tablet out there. But at the same time, you're buying the brand, not the fucking tablet. 
So therefore, oh well. But anyways, yeah, uh, for those of you guys that did donate, uh, once again, a week and a half ago on my 24-hour tablet uh, live stream, uh, thank you guys so much. But anyways, I did a Christmas 24-hour live stream. I, um, I've been really busy in the past week. Uh, family stuff, uh, not to mention my Christmas was awesome. Hopefully your guys' Christmas was awesome too. So I didn't have a chance to actually upload uh, day six, is it? Yeah, day six and also day seven. Soon to be day eight, maybe, on my Hardcore Iron Man. Um, but we did do a, a Christmas 24-hour live stream. I actually did do Monkey Madness. No spoilers. I almost died fucking twice. It was pretty bad. I almost died. It was like at 6.30 in the morning. Oh, no, no, no. 7.30. I, I got off live stream at 9.15 was when the 24 hours was up. And I did, I did Monkey Madness at the end of my live stream. Ironically, it just played out to being like that, but... Um, I almost died twice, the fucking stupid scorpions, and I finally got my dragon longsword. And I'll actually show you guys a clip on the screen. Yeah, my dragon longsword, uh, as it was. Dragon scimitar. Fuck, man, I, I love that dragon longsword. No, I actually got my dragon scimitar. It was the biggest pain in the ass to get on this planet. Because I completed Monkey Madness, I now know that I can do bigger and better things, like Underground Pass, woo, and Regicide, woo, and hopefully not die in the process. And we'll do more and more interesting shit. Probably still never going to go into the wild because that's going to be game over. But still, you know, we can definitely do more dangerous stuff, you know, as we progress on the little accounts. Also, my Christmas 24-hour live stream. Uh, one of you guys have been a humongous uh, supporter of mine and also a longtime fan, uh, Mr. Chip. He was generous, generous enough to donate $500 to the motherfucking gangbang. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Mr. Chip, for donating $500 to me on Twitch TV. And I can't tell you how humble I am to get donations from you guys on Twitch. So, you, uh, it's only, I want to say only a handful of people have actually donated over $500 at once to me on Twitch TV. And you are definitely one of them, Mr. Chip. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you for being the top donator of um, uh, the Christmas 24-hour live stream. And probably going to be the top donator of this month as well. Alright, so anyways, uh, in the past week since I made my last vlog, I actually did upload one video. It was actually on Christmas, uh, the evening of Christmas Day. Not Christmas Eve, the evening of Christmas Day. Um, like I said, my Christmas was awesome. Um, hopefully your guys' Christmas was awesome as well. If you don't celebrate Christmas, well then whatever you do celebrate, hopefully that was awesome too. But anyways, um, I got home uh, from my mom's place on Christmas Day, and I was kind of really debating whether or not to make this video. I wanted to make this video Christmas Eve, but I really couldn't just because, well, I kind of started drinking a little bit early, and it didn't go so well. <laughs> uh, not going to be, you know, holding a fucking uh, dildo chopping buzzsaw when I'm drunk. That's not going to end up very good for myself. Probably lose a finger or two. Or just get sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve. That'd be terrible. Anyways, um, I made a video for Mon Mark. Uh, he never replied to my Twitter message. I don't really think he uses Twitter that much. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't care about me. Maybe he just is too embarrassed. But I actually made Mon Mark a Christmas present. And uh, for those of you guys that actually sent tweets over to Mon Mark's Twitter, thank you. And hopefully, maybe someday he does reply to my little uh, video that I actually did upload. Um, like I said, if you guys ever see him on RuneScape or on the RuneScape live stream, definitely tell him to look at my Christmas present video. Because I'm being serious. If he gives me a fucking address, I will send him the Punisher 2000, as you guys are seeing on the screen. Yes, he will get the sawing dodo machine, which is the Punisher 2000. And then he can punish all the naughty people on RuneScape that steal, cheat, and kill other people's accounts. Namely, my account. Because everyone should be punished, that PK's nightmare. But anyways, like I said, um, I'm doing a 24-hour live stream uh, tomorrow into Friday, which is the 30th, I believe. This New Year's, I would actually like to go out, since I haven't spent the past, I want to say, three New Year's actually out. Um, last New Year's was a disaster, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm doing a 24-hour live stream tomorrow into um, Friday, or rather, yeah, tomorrow into Friday, tomorrow's Thursday into Friday, 9 a.m. until Friday night at 9 a.m. again. It is my New Year's party to you guys, just like my Christmas 24-hour, pre-Christmas 24-hour live stream was my Christmas to you guys. 
Um, this is my New Year's gift to you guys because I'm not going to be on, you know, live stream New Year's Eve or rather, you know, 31st of December. So I must do something for you guys early and shit like that. But I'm not really sure if I should do another day of Hardcore Iron Man or if I should actually prepare for RuneScape raids on Old School. Hmm, I don't know. I only have maybe about five, six hours left to decide. You guys will probably see tomorrow. All right, but otherwise, um, other things that I've done in the past week has, well, Christmas, obviously, but primarily Christmas, spending time with family um, is always a great time. Like you said, I, I ate, uh, whew, uh, my, my stomach and my gas was terrible. It, it, was, it was pretty bad. Uh, balsamic vinaigrette dressing, yes. A shrimp cocktail, yes. Hot sauce, yes. Extra hot sauce, woo! Plus a whole bunch of, um, you know, pasta. And some, I, I, I guess on Christmas Eve, you're supposed to have like a fish or something. Um, my family, we're all Italian, so we've always done like the pasta type, you know, dish and stuff. And also like uh, chicken parm, veal and stuff like that. Christmas Day, we'll do homemade meatballs and sausages. Um, but supposedly you are supposed to have a fish. I mean, you can eat fish whenever. Actually, you can eat pasta whenever too. But still, yeah, it's, oh well. But in the past week, um, just, you know, personal stuff. Like I said, uh, last Christmas Eve, I actually spent the night in the hospital. Uh, Christmas Eve day, around 1 o'clock, I actually got into a car accident. Some girl rear-ended me while I was stopped trying to make a turn. Um, that sent me to the hospital Christmas Eve, which totally fucking sucked. Um, so last year, I didn't get a chance to go out. Uh, plus, the two years prior, I didn't get a chance to go out as well. So this Christmas Eve, I would actually like the chance to go out and have a good time, um, which is the reason why we're doing the live stream, um, you know, a day before Christmas Eve. Doing the 24-hour live stream Friday into Saturday, I'm probably going to be way too groggy to actually go out the night of uh, New Year's Eve. So just like how we didn't do the 24-hour live stream into Christmas Eve day, because I would have been really way too groggy, especially hanging around my family and stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, my personal life, um, pretty much the car accident, it's kind of really still suffering. Like uh, the other day, I had injections in my spine now. Done doing physical therapy, still seeing a chiropractor. I can actually move around a lot better, but fucking still have like disc problem and stuff, which is the most terrible pain on the planet. If any of you guys have ever had like a herniated disc and shit, fucking sucks. So was going to do a live stream last night, but I got home from the doctors after a spine injection around like five o'clock and I just kind of really, I, my body said, you need sleep. So therefore, that's kind of what happened to the live stream. Otherwise, I did want to live stream last night, but like I said, I just really did not feel like doing anything on the internet or rather, you know, the computer at all. But uh, tomorrow is our little New Year's Eve party, like I keep saying a thousand times now in this video. All right, so main point of this video, if the other like 10 minutes of this video doesn't have any point at all, this is the main portion of this video. Uh, main portion of this video, we're going to be talking about um, our opinions and also theories on old school raids coming to RuneScape uh, to a town near you very soon. January 5th, January 6th, I believe they're coming, or might be January 5th, might be January 6th. It's around that time frame. Everyone's really hyped up and everyone's really ready. Um, the biggest question from a lot of you guys always, pretty much any large update that comes to this game, especially Weapon Tree, and the rewards from these raids, believe it or not, are actually pretty fucking awesome. Um, let's see, we have new armor sets coming out. We have Dragon Claws. Bring on the Dragon Claws. We also have possibly a Dragon Plate Body. Uh, that's up in the air. Not to mention a Dragon like Harpoon or something. That when you use the Harpoon, you have a 20% chance of catching fish faster. 20%! That's actually a lot if you really think about it. If you have 99 fishing, you get an inventory of lobsters in five minutes. Now, a harpoon doesn't catch lobsters. Maybe they will add a feature that you can actually catch lobsters with a harpoon. That would be fairly interesting, but they're probably not going to do that. So obviously, it's probably going to be for sharks. One inventory for sharks. Um, I haven't done this in a long time with a, with a timer. But I think one inventory for sharks is around something like maybe uh, 10 minutes, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. 
Um, but 20% faster, that chisels away two minutes if it is actually 10 minutes. Um, so having this harpoon, you can actually be catching a lot of sharks a hell of a lot quicker and make a lot more money. So by them adding new armor, new raids to this game, will it actually affect this game, or rather the old school portion of RuneScape? Fuck yeah, it will. For those of you guys that have never done RS3 raids, I highly, um, I highly encourage you guys not to do them because they're extremely homosexual. Um, the Yakamora, Yakima Bob raid, the, the fucking, the water serpent, I've never killed it, but I've been, I've attempted it with a, a lot of, a lot of my friends on live stream, and we've done it like maybe 10, 12 times. We've gotten butt raped before. Um, <laughs> the rewards aren't really anything but GP. And of course, you know, a little book that you can get like a new ability from, or rather there's like five or six abilities that you can actually unlock. These abilities, all they really do is, I think, a couple are defensive abilities and a couple are DPS abilities. But as for the overall raids, yeah, there's, you might be, but you, you know, the RS3 economy has been shot for so many years with adding new weapons, adding new armor. Adding raids really didn't affect the economy so much, you know, and also adding new abilities as well. I mean, yeah, you can kill bosses faster, but at the same time, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just, <laughs> the economy has been shot for years on RS3. There's no coming back from that. Even the fucking new weapons from Telios, the new bosses, um, it's gone down significantly since I've actually killed Telios. Um, it's nowhere near like over 2 billion GP anymore. Um, it might actually be less, it might actually be more, who knows? I haven't actually looked in a while. But anyways, as for the old school raids, will it affect old school? It probably most likely will. Will it make Bandos armor crash? My guess is that it's going to crash because people are going to be scared and they're going to dump their shit. But overall, I really don't think it's going to affect it that much. These raids are going to be fucking hard. And that's the thing about it. EOC raids, they're, they're not really that hard to do. I mean, I could stand in the fucking corner with my thumb on my ass. I mean, I've, I can shove my iPhone up my ass and play RuneScape at the same time. But they're not really hard to do. I mean, yeah, the Yakima Bob raids is a little harder, but you get the same reward as you do from the Beastmaster raid. As for old school raids, they're going to be a little challenging, and they're going to be more difficult. So the new armor and the new gear on this game, I really don't think it's going to have that much of an impact overall for the long term. People are still going to do Bandos, and you all know what? I'll probably do Bandos more since there's going to be more people on the raids and less people on Bandos. Yay, more money! But um, I really don't think Bandos hats is going to crash down to like 5 mil like they are on RS3. Um, and before Invention came out, they were actually like 1.2 mil. It's pretty sad. Um, but they may crash the day of, but at the same time, everyone that can't do raids because they don't have a really good clan or team... And everyone that can't afford the gear from raids, they're going to be buying tacits and also bandos armor. And, you know, obviously the more people that buy shit, the higher the price is going to go. So have no fear, my friends. I really don't think it's going to be too bad for the RS economy. Old school, that is. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. Hopefully I can actually do raids. My skills are a little low um, on old school. Uh, non non combat skills are actually kind of low low. Probably going to be leveling that up most likely from now until raids. But uh, overall, pretty damn excited. All right, guys. By the way, right now I want to go to my email address and read off an interesting questions from one of you guys. If you guys have a question that you would like me to read off in a vlog, um, please send it to ask nightmare nightmare at yahoo dot com. Uh, it's on the screen also. Um, if you guys would actually like me to send me a question, just make sure you leave a RuneScape username. But anyways, this question is from an individual that did not leave his RuneScape username, so I can't blast him and make fun of him. I'll just call him the Unknown Dude. The Unknown Dude sent me a question. Hey Nightmare, have you ever watched any anime? Um, I'm actually really not that big of a fucking anime fan. For the longest time, I always thought anime was like a whole bunch of naked, uh like Japanese people running around having sex with animals or some shit like that. But I actually learned that anime is actually pretty cool. Um, yes, I have actually watched uh, two series of anime and soon to be three. I'm um, actually four. No, no, no. Well, I, I've seen... Okay. 
I've seen Death Note, which is actually my favorite anime, um, except the ending sucked ass. Um, if you guys have never seen Death Note, I'm not going to do any spoilers, but I'm just saying the end... Well, fuck. Saying the ending does suck ass. That is kind of a spoiler. Fuck. Anyways, yeah, I, I saw Death Note. That anime was absolutely amazing. Um, and it's only... It's on Netflix. It's only like, um, I think maybe 39, 40 episodes. And each episode is only 22 minutes long. It's not like, you know, a long act series... But, you know, playing RuneScape and also watching shit at the same time, it can actually, you know, make skilling go by a lot quicker. But yes, I've seen Death Note, Attack on Titty, or rather Attack on Titan. I've seen the first season, still waiting for the second season to come out or maybe be dubbed. For whatever damn reason, they made 25 great episodes and they decided to make the stupid movies, which kind of cut off the shows. Um, I've seen Attack on Titan. I've watched a little bit of... Um, uh, the Alchemist, or rather Death Metal, or something like that. I, I can't think of the name. Um, I know there's an original um, Alchemist, and then there's also a remake as well. Probably going to end up watching those very shortly. And I've also seen, um, or I uh, started uh, the show Parasite. Um, it's basically about a parasite that takes control of someone, and they live inside their hand, and they have a new friend. There's only like 25 episodes for two seasons, so yeah. Um, have I seen any anime? The question is yes. My thought process on anime has changed in the past, I want to say, year. Because I, like I said, I thought it was a whole bunch of Japanese people running around, like, having, like, sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you SWAT Justin bastards. Anyways, uh, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, please thumbs it up. Make sure you're there tomorrow at my 24-hour uh, New Year's uh, live stream present to you guys. Otherwise, if you have any questions for me, like I said, send it to my email address and I will reply. Please leave a RuneScape username. Otherwise, I'm going to call you the unknown dude number two. Otherwise, um, hope you guys are doing great and stay tuned for more videos and more live streams very shortly. Bye.